Phones, Babylon's can't crack the coat. No. Used to sip out styrofoam, but figured I should stick to drunk. Backwoods, oh, he had his share of big shots. Miami down by two. Oh, it's picked off by West. A cross court attempt by James. He's David West, good hands deflection to come up with that possession. But if George Hill wouldn't have tapped that ball in the last second. This was a small pick and roll, maybe with Mario Chalmers, but you're right. Chris Bosch is going to be the wide open shooter. All right, here's James on the move. And his pass picked off. Another turnover for LeBron James. The foul is given immediately with 8.3 remaining in the fourth quarter. Hill Magnificent as James has played as West got a piece of this one. That is his fifth turnover. Two of them have come over the last 30 seconds. That was interesting. They pulled by two. Shot clock is off. 10 seconds to play. They give it to Curry for three. Missed it. Morris the rebound, and he is fouled on the play with 3.7 seconds to go. Steph Curry, two of nine from three-point range tonight. I couldn't believe that they left him that wide open. Baker gets it into Anthony. Screen set by Baker. Anthony puts up a three. In and out. So the Phoenix Suns come into Madison Square Garden and defeat the Knicks by two. Carmelo Anthony with an opportunity. He had been five for five from downtown. And the shot rolled around and did not fall. Tinsley looking for a cutter. Over the top, Millsap! Oh, it comes off! What a play design by Coach Corbin. Joe Crawford takes the three tenths off. This game is going to overtime. 3.3, looking for James on a switch. James, shot, doesn't go. Now you've got to put yourself in a position if you don't score here to foul and, and then get to the moving the ball. Irving, hooked by Bradley, still working on him, forces it up and off. Thompson keeps it alive. James will fire to an open Williams. Off on a three, rebound Boston, and Crowder is fouled with 4.2 to go. That would have been Darren Williams' first big shot in a Cleveland uniform, and how big that would have been for him. Now, obviously, he's had a lot in his career, but this is a new team. This building. Thompson gets it into Iguodala. Ricky Rubio tries to sniff out a steal. Dunn gets a hand on him for a moment. Curry gets it away for the lead. Rattles out. Brandon Rush a rebound. Clay Thompson tries to tie him up. And finally, Ken Mauer on the baseline did call a jump ball. They the did call a jump ball. crowd's going crazy, but Ken Mauer on the baseline did call for a jump ball. The question is going to be how much time is on the clock. Tibbs is trying to say that he was calling timeout, but Brandon Rush cannot let himself get tied up there. That's the last thing that you should be doing, is allowing yourself to get tied up. Like, you gotta get out of that pack, and you gotta dribble out of there. You can't let yourself get tied up. That's a super smart play by Clay Thompson. And Jim looking at the fans on their feet in D.C. Underneath Crowder, and he scores easily. Wall down court, drives, lays it up, follow! Oh. It will not count. Oh. Wall would have beaten the buzzer. Yep. And yeah, you can see that light on. 
they've been getting when he's been there and dropped it off to a teammate for a score. Jackson. Here's Durant. Seven seconds, six seconds. Durant shot doesn't go. Tony Allen with a rebound and a foul. Kevin Durant. Five of 21 trying to will his team here late in the fourth. You see the play, they got it back to him. He was so anxious to get into that scene where he knew he had an open look. He maybe could have taken one more dribble and then made a decision whether to shoot it or drop it off. There are no more timeouts, so they have to play in transition if he misses this last one. Allen gets both. It's a four-point game. Jackson across the timeline. Jackson fires. It doesn't go. And the Memphis Grizzlies advance to the Western Conference Finals for the first time in franchise history. Goes to double team. They look to get it out of George's hands. Four seconds to go. Miles puts up the jumper. Won't go. Game over. Cavs survive. Joe makes that move, which shouldn't be until seven. They got to jump and make the foul, I would think. Six seconds left. Johnson throws it, intercepted. Knight, two seconds, one second. Oh, he missed it at the horn. Never seen anything like that. My goodness. We are going to double overtime on a missed layup by Brandon Knight. Oh, and Bogdanovich makes a run at him, but can't catch him. I think Knight has to at least flinch a touch to think that the defender is going to get back there and make a play of some sort. One of the most rudimentary of basketball plays was there for Brandon Knight to win it.